This Ultimate Superbike Shootout Action is proudly brought to you by NG Case Parklex. We're in Kabaka at the Aldo Scribanti circuit for the first round of the Ultimate Superbike Shootout. Yes, this is where things have turned around in the world of South African motorcycle racing. And it is fantastic to see what the future holds here, with everybody getting an opportunity to bring whatever you want to. Rob Portman, you're going to join me in commentary. I can tell you something, guys are fired up about this class. It is. It's the, the fastest riders in the land on the fastest track machines, uh, whatever tyres they want, and it's brilliant to see the ultimate Superbike shootout. It's a three-round sprint shootout. Thanks to that man, Jos Matejson, the man behind the World of Motorcycles racing series that the ultimate Superbike has joined. All the riders getting a final riders briefing here and also getting themselves a nice little pack from NGK. Tonsella SA number one must be super excited to see so many bikes on track. It's been, been some years since I've uh, seen so many motorcycles on the track. And uh, to be fair, all the guys are going super fast as well. So it's uh, really awesome. You know, we're so glad World of Motorcycles has, has welcomed the shootout into their series and us and, and my team, King Price Extreme. And uh, I think, yeah, I mean, even in practice, the show that uh, we're able to put on will uh, yeah, make everyone thrilled. I think that, that this whole program's arrived. Mac Flash is looking fired up as well. Let's find out what his plans are for today. Awesome, I mean, I must say it's been a long time since we've been on track and there's 20 plus bikes riding around with you. And, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice change for us, we've needed it and it's just exciting to be racing with a whole bunch of guys, different bikes, different riders, different level of riders. But kind of everyone here for the same goal, enjoying riding and enjoying themselves, you know, that's uh, the most important thing. I'm just enjoying being here and getting a chance to race. And the man will be very excited about seeing so many bikes on track. Sophie Sotemba, Clint Seller's teammate. It's so exciting, but um, the lot of work, the traffic, but the, the excitement and to see how everyone is just putting their head down and going just gives me so much uh, excitement that uh, tomorrow race day, we are going to bring it on. Let's catch up now with Jos Matejson from World of Motorcycle. Very, very. It's, it's good to see that we've got 27 riders in that race and the times differ by milliseconds. Uh, I think it's going to be very close. This is certainly something I've been looking forward to for a long, long time, and it's been a while since we've seen seven manufacturers represented in the front end of a superbike race. And this is exactly what's going to happen after the break. Join us for race number one here from PE. Welcome back to action from the NGK Ultimate Superbike Shootout here from Kobaka at Aldo Scribanti. Aldo Scribanti always proves a very good fighting ground for superbike racing and with a field of almost 22 riders about to go to battle, all forms of motorcycles are allowed. 600s, 1000s, you name it. You can see some of the 600s changing gearing here to try and keep up with the 1000s. We've seen it on a few occasions in the past how 600s have actually run with the 1000s here particularly when we had some Mr. Motorcycles here at Aldo Scramanti. But it's going to be an absolutely amazing day's racing. And Rob, as they roll out for the first heat, it's good to see the usual contenders on the front row. Seller, McFadden and Flock. We kind of expected that. Yeah, look out for Ricardo, Otto, Mourner, Keldenes and Kewan Snayman making a return to the 1000 class. And great to see a mixture not only of motorcycles but tyres as well. Some going Bridgestone, some going Pirelli, some going Dunlop. So going to be a, a war of rubber out there on track as well. AJ Fenton, the Suzuki just ahead of Damien Piero Ficati, then the first of the 600s, that's Brett Roberts. Nice to see him on that third row in the mix with the thousands. Watch out for Reino Pretorius, Jesse Boss of those two 600s also going in. And Hendrik De Brain, great to see him back in 1000cc uh, Superbike racing right up there in the mix. Alex van der Berg and the Cape Town boys are there with Ronald Slamet, Wade Wright, making his way up onto the third spot of row number five. And it's Clinton Free, another top 600 contender ahead of some old guy. Further back there, A.D. van Dalen, Tian Fouché and Savannah Woodward on row number seven. Lubavala and Tana and Savisa Temba splitting up. Johnny Kricker on row number eight. Good to see the, uh, the brothers in racing up there. And they're just ahead of Greg Waddington, Colin Hume and Ron. Yeah, you tell me that one. Parasaras Rassaman, as I call him. Great to have all these riders. And like you said, it's brilliant to see so many riders on the grid. I kind of got stage fright when I went on track with all these guys and girls because it was going to be ferocious as we go on board here yeah, with AJ Fenter, Lacquer Racing, Suzuki, GSX R1000 machine, uh, along with Alex van der Berg. The only two Suzukis on the grid, along with Jesse Bossoff on the 600 as well. Under starters orders, a brilliant start there from Clint, Clint Seller on his King Price Extreme Honda machine. Will he get the whole shot? McFadden trying to go onto the inside, but it is the number one plate of uh, Clint Seller. Look at Carrick Flock and Mornay Heldenes trying to attack Ricardo Otto right on their tail. 
Around the outside, look at that. It's two Suzuki side by side, and as they fly through turn one, great start from Savannah. And whoa, where are you going? You can't go left there. That is definitely not the right line. Aiden Van Dalen just getting it all completely out of shape there as they went down into turn one. Just maybe getting on the brakes and uh, had nowhere to turn in, sat it up and went straight on. But Seller leads as they come out of hangar for the first time, heading up towards the hairpin. Yeah, the problem for AD Van Dalen there was that there were too many motorbikes in the way. The problem that we haven't seen in South African motorcycle racing for a long time. Q and Snayman, watch out for the young kid from Cape Town on a 2014 Kawasaki ZX10 with a little bit more fire in that engine coming through. AJ Fenter, this is a great shot. You really do hold on for dear life around the, the Aldo Scribanti circuit here. You actually detune the bikes to try and control them here because there's so much power available, especially now that there's a little bit more spice in those engines. Across the line for the first time, first lap completed in the NGK Ultimate Superbike Shootout. I want you to go back to that comment you made earlier on. There were too many bikes into turn one. Can you just say that again, please? I like what you're saying. There were too many bikes. <laughs> there were too many fast bikes. These are the fastest riders in the country on the fastest track machines doing battle. You can see already two kind of groups starting mm. to split up here. Clint Seller, David McFadden, Carrick Frock, Mornay Heldenes, and Ricardo Otto in that group one. And then just behind them, AJ Fenter, uh, Luke Scott, Kewin Snayman, and Damian Purificati. So good mixture of Kawasaki, BMW, Suzuki, Yamaha, and Honda at the front end. And that's exactly what you want. All the manufacturers involved as well. As they get onto the brakes, there's a move from Kewin Snayman trying to dive on the inside. Didn't quite get up the inside of the 39 Laka Racing Suzuki of AJ Fenter. But there is a big move there. And it's great to see. Uh, you mentioned Otto there in fifth place. He stepped up onto 1,000 for the first time. So is Kewin Snayman. So a bit of a change up in terms of the riding style from the two oh, riding style that's a huge big off there for seller nearly got it all completely wrong very lucky to survive that one into Dunlop a massive mistake there from Clint Seller and look at Carrick Flock now this is when you don't want rear view mirrors on a motorbike because when you see the big 64 right on your tail you do get scared Flock on the inside no Seller now a recovery mission to try and get himself ahead of David McFadden great battle out front we expected this but we didn't expect Mornay Heldenace on the Michelin shot Yamaha R1 so again just showing that the different tyre manufacturers coming into play Ricardo Otto just behind him on the Bridgestone tyres so great mixture of bikes and tyres doing battle yeah, you can see just how hard these guys are pushing oh. the Flock having a big Big look going into hangar. Going to have some big cojones to make that one step. But is he good enough on the brakes? So Seller's going to be exceptionally good on the brakes as he closes down on McFadden trying to return the favour and get back to the front end of the field. Great ride coming out of Ricardo Otto. Certainly loving life on that machine of his. Now on the 1,000cc as opposed to his normal 600cc steed that he would be riding. But he's not too far off the back end of these top three riders. I can tell you, it's a big step up to go from a 600 to 1,000. You know and how hard it is to make that change and also change your riding style. Yeah, it is a really big step up. And Ricardo Otto has taken to that older generation R1. It's not one of the new spec bikes. And like I said, on those Bridgestone tyres, making it work. To be that close to the fastest riders in the country is brilliant. Here comes that Honda CBR 1300. Makes a move on the inside. We were joking throughout the weekend how fast that Honda is. And it just showed the speed there as the number one King Price's dream bike now up on the inside and back in the lead. This is the mistake he made. You could see too much front brake. Oh, bucking Bronco. Clint Seller on a rodeo there. Did very well to hang on to that that could have ended a lot worse. Oh, that's for sure. Oh. King Price Honda was completely out of shape there. Ran wide, as you can see, you're coming out of Dunlop, and then just McFadden diving through and capitalizing on that mistake. Here we go. Hendrik De Bruyne, 95, net CB machine, absolutely hauling. And he's having a bit of a fight of his own there. He's got uh, Rob Portman, yours truly, the man alongside me, having an absolute blast on his Ducati. And he's fighting hard at the moment. Rob, you've got some, uh, some people to play with there. Ronald Slammett, the Red Baron, is in the house, taking on <laughs> oh, Bobby Idle. I couldn't believe the pace. Brett Roberts, he was uh, one of the contenders in the 600 class, just behind Alex von der Berg there. Rainer Pretorius on his 600 was just checked out. I couldn't believe the pace, Greg. I was riding my heart out every lap and just not making any inroads on the line. I'm hang scaling. There I am, just uh, doing everything I possibly can. Ronald Slammett, Wade Wright, a brilliant ride there from him with Clinton Free. And great to see two new names in the Supersport 600 category. They're running fourth and fifth in the 600s at the moment. But like you can see, dicing with some big 1,000cc machines there. There's me trying to close in on the back of Wade Wright. He got ahead of me. And like you said, it's a good combination of 600s and 1,000s here because the only real advantage is down that long straight. But through the infield section here, those 600s have got a real turn of pace. Henrik De Brain, brilliant to see him come back. And like I said, he was loving life. He's finished ninth overall, but he said, Rob, my best ride ever to finish ninth overall in this crop of field. Thumbs up to him. 100%. And that's exactly what I think a lot of riders are going to be wanting to do is by riding in a field like this, you up your pace, you up your Ooh. game. There's a big move diving on the inside there and a change up for second place as Brett Roberts gets on the inside of Jesse Boss off the Suzuki man demoted down. 
Lights by Linear Boy, just going through there, absolutely brilliant stuff. Great to see that change up, eh? I mean, if you look where, Je where uh, Brett Roberts came from, from a motocross background, he's just loving life on the circuit now. And I can tell you that bright yellow bike just confused my old aging eyes. I can tell you when I saw him in front of me, I just didn't know what was happening out front. Clint Seller now just extending a little bit of a lead now over David McFadden. Carrick Frock doesn't look like he's got the pace to go with him. So starting to stretch out just a little bit here in the NGK Ultimate Superbike Shootout for the first time. And this is absolutely brilliant to see the best in the country on the best machines going to battle. McFadden, no, not letting go on the back there. This is where his tire wear starts to take place a little bit deeper into the race. Remember, this is unknown territory now with these riders because they haven't done a lot of track time on the tyres, setting up the new bikes with the new machinery that they've got and the more horsepower that they've got. This is the unknown territory now. With one to go, let's see who's going to have what it takes here. Is it going to be Seller or is it going to be McFadden? McFadden having a look into turn one. Big foot out there from McFadden, but there's some traffic now to negotiate. Will Seller be able to put that traffic between himself and the Stunt SA man? As they come out of turn one into the S's, they're going to catch them into Schaeffler, and there's a good possibility that that back marker might come into play. Brilliant battle here further behind. Kewan Stamen still ahead of Damien Purificati and AJ Fenter. Purificati, hats off, one of the, the, the most recent riders in this category, and he's just, just improving every single time he goes out on track. AJ Fenter changing 16 million tyres before the race, so you can excuse him for just not having the energy or the pace to quite be on there but how is that AJ Fenter the caliber of the field down in eighth place that is how deep this field goes Savannah Woodward in the 600 class she's just been passed by Clint Seller and uh, David McFadden as they come to the line and the first winner of the NGK ultimate shootout, shootout is Clint Seller on his King Price Extreme Honda Seller takes it from McFadden Flock comes through for third place there you go there's confirmation of the results Mona Heldenace in fourth beating out Ricardo Otto Kieran Snayman in sixth ahead of Damien Purificati in the 600 though Reina Pretorius hanging on ahead of Brett Roberts and Bossoff Clint Seller, the first ever Ultimate Superbike Shootout brought to you by Walden Motorcycles Racing and NGK Spark Plugs. First race out of the six sprint races we've got for the year goes to King Price Extreme and Clint Seller, that number one plate looking good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, I think uh, I'm very blessed the Honda that I have. <laughs> it's very, very, very fast. So yeah, just using my bike to my advantage for sure there. I, uh, I made a big mistake into turn uh, the second, I think second or thir third lap into the last turn. Man, I thought I was down and uh, yeah, I got a bit of arm pump after that one, but um, yeah, I managed to, to ride the bike and uh, King Price Extreme, yeah, thanks guys, appreciate it, Honda. Second place in the Ultimate Superbike Shootout powered by Walden Motorcycles and NGK, David McFadden, you've had a smile on your face all weekend, that smile's still there. Yeah, for sure, I'm just happy we are racing and I mean, at the end of the day, I think we need to all thank yours for letting us come join the series and put this together. The race didn't I go to plan, like I had a kind of move lined up and the last lap there was a back marker, but that's racing. You know, well done to Clinton and his team, that generator is so fast, I'm literally blowing the paint on my bike, but we'll come to the next race and we'll hopefully hand out some hose pipes and let's just have fun, man, we're here and I'm enjoying it. In third place, Garrick Flock, first time out in the Ultimate Superbike Shootout, powered by Walden Motorcycles and NGK. That looked like a really tough race. Yeah, it was a, it was a hard race. In the, in the beginning, I was trying to sit with David and Clinton, and yeah, the pace was really fast. Um, made a few mistakes and just lost the toe with them. But overall, it was, was a very good race. Rainer Pretorius, top step of the podium in the Supersport 600 Ultimate Shootout. Tough to race a super sport bike here with a competitive field that we've got in this class. Oh yeah, for sure. I didn't expect uh, the, uh, to win this morning, seeing that uh, uh, he qualified uh, first by quite of a margin. But uh, we kept it cool, and I know him, I knew where my strong points were, so I focused on that a lot. And with the weak points, were, I worked harder on that to uh, to try and keep the gap closed as as uh, as, as possible. Brett Roberts, second in the Supersport 600 class. It's a tough competition out there. How was your race? Uh, yeah, I got off to a really bad start. Got passed by lots of people. Um, but the worst part was I got passed by a thousand and he kind of held me up a bit. Um, but I managed to pass him near the end of the race, caught Jesse, and I got him on the last corner of the last lap, which is quite cool. But yeah, I had a really fun race. Keen for, keen for you too. Third place in the Supersport 600 class. Jesse Bosov on your slightly old school Suzuki Jessica 600. You had to work a little bit harder than the guys on the R6. Yes, sir. It was pretty tough out there. I'm also running the SE2 tyre, which is a bit of a slip. But uh, hey, I'm blessed to be here today. It's amazing for NGK and Walden Motorcycles to put this together. 
I mean, a lot of families are struggling and um, we're blessed to be racing at this time. So thank you for everyone putting it together, all my sponsors, all my family. Without any of them, I wouldn't be here. So thank you all. Um, can't wait for the next one. Welcome back to action from the NGK Ultimate Superbike Shootout and what an incredible first round. The biggest fan there, of course, that's Rob Portman's biggest fan. He'll be looking forward to uh, giving him a little bit more of a thrill here in race number two, won't you, Rob? I hope so, if I can get rid of the arm pump and old age and dodgy eyes. But as you can see, preparations in the pit, just the atmosphere was electric. Everyone was smiling, everyone was happy. There was no protest this, do this, you've got this. It was just good, clean racing and world-class racing. The lap times that were coming out from first all the way down to 20th, 21st place, was electrifying. So hats off to everyone involved. So we can do it again now for heat number two as they roll to the line. We're on board with McFadden, the RPM Center Stunt SA. Man looking to possibly outgun the two riders alongside him. What a front row there for Ricardo Otto, though, as he heads down the wall turn one. Can you believe that? How intimidating must that be to be in amongst multiple SA champions? Yes, he's taken a 600cc title in his own right, but to be at the front end and the second time of asking in the NGK Ultimate Superbike Shootout must be a big ask. Yeah, Carrick Flock there with a terrible start. He finds himself down in 6th, 7th position there, coming under fire now from Q and Snayman. What a move. The Cape Tonian rider just flicking it on the inside there. Carrick Flock looks a little bit shell-shocked at the moment. Sellers out front. Ricardo Otto there in second. So we've got Pirelli and Bridgestone Ties. You can see a couple of riders getting it a little bit out of shape. Oh, I love that shot. Look at that sideways stuff as we go on board here with AJ Fenter just behind uh, the bright pink machine there of Q and Snayman. You can hear these motorcycles just being stretched to the absolute limit. Carrick Flock has got a lot of work to do right behind there. You can see you've got Jesse Bossoff in the mix as well. Damien Purificati there as well. So Bossoff on the 600 with a brilliant start. Mornay Caldenas all over the rear end there of David McFadden and as well, there is uh, Purificati going to use that BMW power now down the front straight. As they come down the front straight, the 600 might get eaten up by the thousands, but it's the only time that there really is a disadvantage to be on a 600cc. That's on the straightaway. There's no disadvantage to be on a Honda at this point in time because he's leading out again. Kinsella dominating ahead of Ricardo Otto. What a start there from Otto. Ahead of David McFadden. McFadden must be himself. Hang on a second. Who is this guy? Yeah, I've never seen <laughs> you on a thousand cc before on board yeah, with David McFadden. You can hear it just got to roll on. Got to be gentle on that throttle. Easy on the brake. Got more than enough horsepower with a 17% increase. And like I said, more ponies under that tank with the modifications that you are now allowed to do. Mornay Heldenes with a brilliant ride. Oh, Purificati sideways, Fenter sideways, and Carrick Flock sideways. So Flock has made himself ahead of that pack, but trying to chase down now the hard-charging Kewan's name. And brilliant ride there from him. But Ricardo Otto now coming under massive pressure from McFadden. Old school R1 versus new school R1 there. And just behind them, Mornay Heldenes also coming. So a three-way battle here between the Yamahas. Clint Seller has got open air and starting to extend that lead. Yeah, the tuning forks are basically fighting amongst themselves, so it's allowing the Honda to get away. You know, they just have a little bit of work together right behind here we go we're on board with McFadden is he good enough on the brakes no he's not wow Ricardo Otto outbreaking McFadden into turn one who would have thought that not me but I can tell you something there's a man to watch out for in the future of 1000 cc's Ricardo Otto has jumped onto that old school R1 and is making it work for him that's the beauty of the rules now with the NGK Ultimate Superbike Shootout Q and name and as well 2014 Kawasaki but you can bring it on par with the more modern day bikes that's exactly what Ricardo Otto is doing going a little bit too defensive there that's going to compre comprehend some speed and here comes David McFadden and trying to make the move on board here with one of the greatest riders ever to grace South African motorsport Rob Portman <laughs> just look at those lines trying to make the move and hold on to that Ducati ahead of him is uh, Alex van der Berg had a good oh there's Jesse Bosov that was Jesse Bosov going down in the hairpin so after that brilliant start in the 600 cross mixing it with the 1000 CC boys unfortunately just tucking the front and going down at the hairpin if I'm not mistaken that's an ex-uncle Andy's racing Suzuki GSX 600 that he was on so he's back up and riding fortunately he able to get back up but he's dropped right out of 600 CC contention probably keep you going though if I know that guy he'll have a go for sure now on the brakes how was that move oh pure Ricardi I mean, a big look on Alan John Fenter remember Alan John Fenter has literally just come up the road from the hill climb throwing a higher booster up the road there at the Samola hill climb and he's now on his GSX-R pushing hard I'm just ahead of that BMW of Pure Ficardi. you can see the two different lines there Ricardo Otto goes so defensive there that allows McFadden to get the drive and I think we're going to see a change up for second place Clint Seller King Price Extreme Honda Machine out front but Ricardo Otto is really good on the brakes we've seen it oh I love that shot coming out of the hip and you'll see these riders just fighting the motor but Ricardo Otto still holding on to that second. Mornay Heldenes just riding over our camera there. Thanks for that, Mornay. We'll send you a bill. 
I think that was uh, purposely placed there. One of the riders <laughs> went past, dropped oh, the GoPro oh. and said, right, let's get a good let's shot get a good here. Shot. <laughs> and it worked perfectly. Superb camera angles here coming from the NGK Ultimate Superbike Shootout. As they come across the line, we've got three laps to go and the battle continues here for second place in the front end of this field. McFadden taking on the hard charge. And what an amazing ride here. I can't tell you how impressed I am with Otto. Yeah, Carrick Flock with that bad start just really did cost him this race because he finds himself in no man's land. Now he's got ahead of Q and Snayman. Another brilliant ride. Two contenders for riders of the day. Q and Snayman and Ricardo Otto uh, who's doing everything he can to keep those two R1s behind him. This is where McFadden's got the extra turn of pace though. He carries the momentum through the left-hander, through the very tricky right-hander. You can see the elevation change there. McFadden trying to line up a move. Seller goes sideways. Here comes David McFadden on the inside. Are we going to finally get that change up? No, again. Ricardo Otto on those Bridgestone tyres holding off McFadden on those Pirelli tyres and Warner Kelnes on the Michelin tyres. A great three-way battle going on here for that uh, final podium positions. Yeah, three-way battle between three tyre manufacturers, two types of Yamahas and three different riders. <laughs> One coming out of 600ccs and stepping up in the thousands and doing it admirably. Here we go, out of Dunlop Corner, on board with Seller, looking back at that battle. That's the gap he's pulled with two to go. Absolutely brilliant stuff here from the man who would be king. You know, Seller didn't get the script to make it exciting. He's just clearing off here now. Loving life on that Honda now that he's got the Pirelli tyres on as well. Here we go again on the inside. Ricardo Otto just so late breaking, just closing that line. Very brilliant stuff here from, from that young man. It really is. Like you said, he's made that transition onto the 1000cc bike look a lot easier than it actually is. Carrick Flock now starting to close in mm. onto the back of that. So we're going to have a four-way battle between the R1s for the final podium position. Sellers out front in the 600 class. Good little battle going on there. Still Rainer Pretorius ahead of Brett Roberts. Roberts didn't get a good start at all, had to fight his way through the field and wade right up into the podium now after the loss of uh, Bossoff. You can see McFadden trying again there on the inside. Oh, runs a little bit wide, so not sure what happened there. Maybe a little front end tuck. That has now allowed, oh, the first mistake he makes and he gets punished. That is what the NGK Ultimate Superbox shootout is about. It is so competitive out there now. One mistake and you get, uh, you get hammered for it. Here is your leading 600 rider, Pretoria, still with Hendrik Brain. There is Brett Roberts trying to make the move on Alex van der Berg. So again, the good old battle of thousands CC and 600 CC riders. Rob Portman, oh, fantastic. How quality is that, man? Just looks <laughs> so good on the motorcycle. Absolutely quality, yeah, absolutely quality. <laughs> All the way down in 14. Exactly. Oh, oh, there's a move, great move. 600 move. 600 CC diving on things, carrying the corner speed, but right back at him. Vandenberg trying to come back at Brett Roberts. Roberts just slams it all shut, says, no, no, you have to fight harder for that. Now they go across the line. Should be going on to the, uh, the last lap here of Ultimate shoot, Superbike Shootout. What an incredible day's racing we've had so far. Yes, one to go, and it's all done and dusted for the first round of the NGK. Ultimate Super Bike Shootout. Yeah, Clint Seller is out front, made it look very easy out front, and uh, you can see Ricardo Otto just succumbing maybe to a little bit of tire wear or something. There is Clint Seller, Savannah Woodward, much better ride from her, didn't get lapped in this race. And the race pace, I mean, low one minute lap times every single lap from Clint Seller, that is exceptional stuff. He takes a checkered flag, it will be David McFannin in second. Mornay Haldenace, right at the depth there, gets ahead of Ricardo Otto, unfortunately dropping down to fifth, and you can see Clint Seller, yeah, he's pumped with that. The number one plate is on that bike for a reason. Well, Flock actually got up to fourth place right in the closing stages as well. Ricardo Otto dropped down to fifth, as you said, ahead of Q and Snayman and AJ Fenter on the Laka Racing Suzuki. Pretorius Roberts, and this time Wade Wright in third place for the 600s. Wade Wright on the podium against the fastest riders in the country. You must be feeling good. Yeah, everything went well today. Uh, I must thank a few guys from uh, Mixed Motorcycles that have helped me out a lot. And yeah, it's the uh, second year of doing the series, second year actually being on a road bike. So um, I'm selling quite well, I, I would presume. And yeah, I'm happy and I'm glad you guys are holding these events, keeping it alive. Thank you very much. Great to see some money getting back to the riders for the very first time in a long time in South African motorsport. And superb effort there from our top three on the podium. Basically a motocross podium there. In the Supersport 600 class, it was phenomenal. Let's go to the 1,000 cc's now. Mornay Kaldenos, one better in race two. 1,500 rand check. Have you ever gotten prize money in your life? Well, you know, honestly, it's my second time on the podium. But no, I've never earned money in racing. So at least we're getting something back. And how was that race? Fastest bikes in the country, fastest riders in the country. This is what it's all about. Oh no, it was absolutely awesome. I'm just grateful to be here. I said earlier, it's hard enough just to get here and then we need a race. So, but I'm very grateful to be here. Thanks a lot. David McFadden, what a day to round off the first round of the Ultimate Superbike Challenge. This is what racing is all about. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we came here, we had some fun. We know what we need to work on now. Like we're lacking in a few areas. But I mean, we, yeah, we're racing, we're having fun, and that's at the end of the day what it's about. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll definitely bring a bit more for the next race and come a lot more prepared. But I'm just stoked to be racing and just having a jaw at the end of the day. I must, you know, without the sponsors and everyone, we wouldn't be uh, 
And without the series, we'd have nowhere to race. So I think it's it's just a blast and fuck, we're taking some money home and let's just have some fun, eh? Clint Seller double on the day in the first Ultimate Superbike shootout with NGK and Walden Motorcycles, 5,000 Rand. It's a lot of nappies and baby formula can come in handy. Shh, don't tell my wife, don't tell my wife. <laughs> yeah, no, awesome, Rob. You know what? It's just awesome to see uh, uh, all the riders on the grid. Uh, you know, I had to work for it, and that's what we want here. We want, uh, we want the racing to be hard. There, I was a little bit lucky. Uh, I thought Dave was coming. I thought he was coming, but uh, managed. My Honda's so fast. <laughs> so, yeah, I managed to take advantage, and uh, you know what? I'm so happy I got the King Price check uh, comes to the King Price rider. So, yeah, I'm stoked about that. Amazing stuff, all the riders getting a little bit of extra Tom in the back sky to ensure that they can go racing again. It's been a long time since that, that's happened, that's for sure, particularly in 600 and 1000 CC class. But as you heard from Clint Seller, taking the top prize is definitely what he wanted here today as we look forward to the next round at Swart Corps, beginning of October. Fastest lap went to Clint Seller as well. He gets an extra 500 Rand, 1,800 Rand for Spirit of the Day. Great effort there from Clinton Faree. Best of the rest, that was Damien Purificati. And rider of the day, definitely Ricardo Otto. Shannon from NGK Spark Plugs, you've got the biggest spark plugs in the world and the fastest, and you've now partnered up with the fastest motorcycle series in the country. How awesome is it to see pack grids and the best in the country going at it? For us at NGK, it's an amazing experience to be part of this, to be partnered with this amazing event. Um, we couldn't have asked for a better turnout. Uh, we're looking really forward to this taking off in the season and really getting all of the sponsorships behind this event and letting it just take off going forward into the future bringing motorsport back to the legendary sport that it was, yeah, awesome stuff. Yeah, having NGK partnered up with uh, finally a good platform that looks like it's going to survive, but with NGK, a powerful brand like NGK, you know, things are looking good. Absolutely, um, you know, NGK, as I've always mentioned before, has always been involved in the motorsport. Um, we, we are performance plug, we, we back performance, um, and the event is, is really a strong event, so why not have a strong sponsor? History was certainly made here in Quebec today in South African motorsport and particularly motorcycle racing. We look forward to the next round at SWAT Cops on the 2nd of October. The NGK Ultimate Superbike Shootout. This ultimate superbike shootout action is proudly brought to you by NGK Sparklers.